Cody Wama. There will be no betting this week because of a one screen Reese. Oh, Reesey one screen. So no bets because I, I can't be asked to keep alt tabbing to go and get it. Hola, Adam. Hola. Buna. Why does no one ever say Buna to me? Eh? Why does no one ever say hello to me in Romanian? That'd be nice of them. Fuck you all. Haha, -ha, very funny, Adam. Morning, Mike. Alright. Let's start. In third. Do I remember any of these goals? Sadio Mane. Hmm? He just runs in a straight line and the keeper just has a terrible, terrible time. Hello, friends. Hello, enemies. Hello, Montenegro. It's 0% precipitation in Pod... Podgor Podgorica. Oh, get well soon, George. We don't like to hear that. Oh, the Python's late winner. Good finish. A theme of goal of the week is goalkeepers just Leading to the wrong side. Oh! It's a tiki taka toa Bosch! It's not a Bosch, it's an incredible free kick! This is the one I remember. This was the goal I remember. It was a good one too. Right then. Let's get this show on the proverbial road. Where do we start? Nilwall and Barcelona. Barcelona looking to apply some pressure to their sisters. At the top of the table. The penultimate week in the pre-split era. I don't know if it was really the word I want there, but it kind of fits. Oh! Calvin Phillips! Llorente cuts it back. Kevin De Bruyne. Zielinski edge of the box. Finds Lamar. Oh! Lloris was nowhere near that. Has Robertson been getting lots of assists, Wammer? At least one. All right then. Down low, Calvin Phillips. Oh, good ball. Less good pass there. True that. True that. Top ten. Fails to beat Unai Simon. All square at the half. We still hunt for our first goal of the stream. It's crazy to me how good the go the Ducks goal difference is this year. I did not expect us to be a strong goal difference team. I expected us to have a goal difference 
probably in the negatives because when we I expected this when things started going badly I expected the the wheels to really come off. Is that a penalty? It looked like a good tackle to me. This is the first game. Oh, Joe Jar's listening. Oh, yeah, it looked like they did just judge it as a good tackle. Fair play. Oh, what a ball. Salah. Oh, Mo Salah Salah really, really should do better than that. A player of his calibre. Pow. Unai Saban employing some good old-fashioned time-wasting there where he catches it and then lays down. An all-time favourite of mine, that one. Well, a point may not be enough. This could cost Nilwall in their hunt to make the split, unless they can find a late goal. Top 10? Oh! Barcelona applying late, late pressure. Maychester gonna need a win. Nilwall may well be slipping out of top half dreams. That's terribly phrased Milner the rich man's Adam Lalana Pellegrini One last chance, perhaps, for Nilwall. A labber loses the ball to Salah. Here comes Spinazzola. And correct. What was that? What was that pass? Congratulations to Barcelona. Could they be retaking the league lead? Here come the Pythons. A point, well, a win will guarantee them a top half finish. I think. The Manx have already guaranteed a top half finish, I reckon. Don't actually quote me on that. Danny Olmo, terrible pass. Jesse Guy, Jota, Foden plays it through, the false knight, what was he doing? What was Vlahovic doing? That's offside, by an absolute mile. What the fuck was that? That's just one of the weirdest highlights I've ever seen. He just... Decided to, instead of, you know, picking up the pass and scoring, to just mark the defender. Even though Menace and Panther bang and play each other.
Oh, Foden. Oh, Cavas with a great save. Oh, Laporte rising up, but unable to keep the header down. Danny Olmo. Okay, Laporte heads away. Ruben Diaz first to the loose ball. Great ball in. Felix cuts it back across. Oh. Daddy Olmo. No, oh, nothing to it. Oh, Cucurella. Oh, Fofford have really, really almost scored no goal there. That would not have been good. Offside. Right, Python's eyeing up another injury time winner. Will they find it this week? They will not. The points are shared. Cavas, the king of the day. Halfman versus the SS. Halfman would like to pick up a win here. They are currently at risk of being pulled into do it better territory. Oh, Neymar goes close. Alan, looking for I. Oh no, Nacho's had a nightmare. They escape. Yeah, Python's a Manx drawing. Good for the good for the pigs for sure. Oh, oh, this goal is beautiful. This goal is so nice. Oh, you don't save those. That's a Bosch. The lesser seen Bosch from closer than the penalty spot. Mankir. Definitely possible that the SS are the gimmick team that have scored the most Bosches this year. Talvan. Oh, there's another Bosch! That's basically guaranteed. Holy shit! We'll be seeing that goal tomorrow. What the fuck? That is pure filth. Tommy Asu? No, not getting there. Here come the SS once again. Ivan Tony. Oh, <laughs> even Ivan Tony trying to get in on the boshing. Oh. 
Man. The SS are just absolutely passing it around half man. It's like a real team playing against a gimmick team, this game. Just the roles are reversed. <laughs> Oh. Chance. Oh, can't keep it down. Oh, target so much space. Oh, look at this. Can he get the ball on target? Oh, he finds his target, but Ivan Tony cannot convert. Route 1 football here. Oh, if in doubt, kick it long. But Cavani and his old man legs cannot stay onside. Target, Wilson. Well, an elder... Oh, would have been another lovely goal. Oh, so according to the stats, half men have been all over them. 20 odd shots, 2 point something XG. So they, they've been a bit unlucky. Oh, that was a good effort. Neither team convert getting many of their shots on target. Both of them have terrible on target ratios. Luck goes the way of the SS. Oh, here come the ducks. Oh! Jojo fucking lied to me! I was told there'd be no Harland! What the fuck? Go on, Maxi. Oh, yes. Go on, Alexi. No, that's not. Maxi! Off the bar! Ah. Oh, Paulinho's playing in midfield. That's fun. Where's Valverde? He wasn't on the injury list. Just not fully recovered from his his injury that he had last time, I guess. Oh dear. Okay. Whew. Oh. Love the confidence from David there. Go on, long ball. Up to Gomez. Don't do something dumb like kick it into a striker who scores. Okay. Uh oh. Oh, I'm scared. Okay. Whew. Okay. Oh, go on. Go on, Alexi. Go on. Pedri. Pedri. No. <laughs> if only Pedri could shoot. I swear, there's an alternative universe where Pedri's on like 15 goals this season. Why should this be an auto loss for you? I don't understand why you're saying this. Because you're playing a right wing back, it's a uh, left wing back. That... that It's clearly the difference. 12 in your shit, 13 in your fine. That's the cutoff. off. 
Back to back nil nils for the Ducks. Oh. <laughs> we were the better team. My defensive playstyle. I've scored more goals than you have this year. Get fucked. Defensive football. We've got like one of the best goal differences in the league. We're basically free scoring. Don't ig just ignore the fact we've scored like in one of our last five games. <laughs> just ignore that bit. <laughs> oh, how's that stuck in? What do you mean it ended at match one? Oh my god, Peel's top of the league. Oh wait, no he's not, because Barcelona do end up winning, didn't they? Whew. If I know anything about much and more, though, they're going to ramp up and ramp up and ramp up. But in, at some point, everyone's going to get sick and tired of doing it. And it's all going to fall apart. <laughs> no one's going to join in anymore. Everyone's going to start resenting the dickheads that are still doing it. But I think they're on borrowed time. Right now, we're in like the round four where it is peak enjoyment of, say, of shouting much and more. Scored one and conceded two in our last five. <laughs> boom, boom, boom. <laughs> now that is peak entertainment. Look, let's let's not get too high. They're they're beating the elves. You'd have to be some sort of shit to lose to this elves team. They're on a seven win streak, I think, coming into this. Can you imagine if it's the elves that stop Peel? Peel's win win streak. That would be fun. Oh, Rafael allowed for a hat trick. A second hat trick of the year this would be. Is that a second hat trick of the season? Because he had the four goal haul against somebody. And then there. This is a hat trick, right? He did score the first. And the second, obviously. I, think I definitely remember him scoring. Yeah. What a year Rafael Lau's having. Oh, Saul. Nothing fancy. Just cool calm collected from Seoul. No, he is not because Lukaku Lukaku was, you know, 
He was Lukaku for the first... Up until Christmas. Lukaku from August to December in Football Manager 2022 is... Ungodly. The shit he pulls off. Unreal. Yeah, Lukaku will, will also have the benefit of not being in the split, so he gets to play the gimmick teams again. Oh, what a free kick! SMS with a message for Tiki Takatawa. And that message is, I can score free kicks too. Oh. Jojo with a lot of faith in Peel. <laughs> yeah. And a, a distinct lack of faith in the Weasels. Clearly Reese is not the manager of the BBC. Why? What have they done? Cheer up. Oh. oh, he scored one last week. Oh, goes close there. <laughs> I'll fucking fight you. SMS taking free kicks is fine from that area. If he's the, if he's the most likely player to score the free kick, I'd... I'd have him do it. You gotta remember, the Ducks have Maxi Gomez taking those free kicks, so I don't have an issue with the target man taking the free kick. If it, if they're shooting from the free kick, I don't need a target man to aim for. Exactly, Wammer. Didn't I? Classic. Oh yeah, it's because there's no need. I had Luis Alberto, right? Dave doesn't have Luis Alberto to be a set piece specialist. Oh dear, DeMarco. It was an easy, easy goal at the near post. Oh dear, Marco. Good on that one, Mama. I, I appreciate that. Oh, Rodri. Oh, Bellingham goes down. Referee waves the advantage. Ronnie scores a header. Not a bosh. <laughs> I was serenading someone called Marco. <laughs> My dear Marco. Well, Tiki Taka Toa continue to pick up some big points. Obviously, they aren't going to make the split, but they're kind of in the fight for 11th. I guess I want this to end in a draw? I guess what I don't want, worst possible outcome, is a menace win. Because if the Menace win, then even if I beat them tomorrow, I don't climb above them. 
but I would love a draw here. I'd settle for a Pantabang and win, actually. Pantabang and win could be very fun. Because then, me versus the Menace tomorrow is basically the game to decide who makes the split. Well, that's bad. Yeah, but I was hoping to, to qualify at the Menace's expense, if I'm honest. I really wanted that. Whereas if the Menace win, they're in. Even if I beat them tomorrow, and that's upsetting me. Oh god, Tabby! Tabby! Oh, what a goal! Even a draw is good, because... I then finish up, I then end up above the menace, right, and there's no one beho below me could catch me, so I'd be in. They'd be out, I'd be in. Everything would be grand. A draw or a pantabang and win. Both are fine. A draw is good because it means I could probably get, I might be able to get in with a draw myself. Unlikely, but possible at that point. But Oh, lucky. Am I? If Menace win this. Oh, will I be like exactly three points behind them? So I'd go above them on tiebreakers. Oh yeah, that would be the thing. Oh that okay. So basically, no matter what, I'm in I'm in for a very exciting game against the menace tomorrow. Love that for me. Until I don't beat them tomorrow and then I cry because I missed the split as well. Will anyone be able to get to 29? I guess a Sir's win and draw would see them on 29. No, no. No, they can't because they've already got one point from the draw that they're currently on. So no one else could even get to 29. So yeah, that wouldn't be possible. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> always exciting. <laughs> uh, they'll have manufactured excitement instead of actual excitement. To make up for the lack of actual excitement, we're just going to fill it with narrative. Oh, he's the man you wanted that position. Raul Garcia, what a goal. Uh, I'm beginning to think Jojo might be right. <laughs> Maybe the Weasels aren't the team that are going to end Peel's winning streak. <laughs> they get done in by Raul Garcia from outside the box. <laughs> oh, Ross Barkley having a go. The real boy himself. Oh, Maguire. Oh. 
Oh, the slammer finds Pulisic. Oh, sneaks it in, the goalkeeper. Very. Not had a good time there. <laughs> Easily. Oh, that must have been a tight offside. I feel like that one was close. Frankincense the Viking. Oh, the slammer. Pulisic, okay. Heavy Galan Galan. Pulisic, oh! Squeezes it inside the left hand post once again, this time from an onside position. George. George, I have a question. How many goals does Sam the Slammer Lammers need to score? To keep his spot as the starting weasel striker next year. Oh! There's an obvious nullness! The weasels are doing it! They're gonna beat Peel! Murray has not had a good game this season. Bless him. <laughs> we gotta win the league! So, George again. <gasps> You're sticking with Sheshko despite his bad role. Oh, cast off away. Isco has played in. Carlstop, what a ball! And Ziesch doesn't need to do much but guide it into the far post. Buddy's offside. Both teams have had one ruled out for offside now. Ziesch will be hoping to emulate Pulisic by scoring a goal anyway. Avi Galan looking to, for his hat trick of assists. The slammer. Jeffrey. The best player in the world, according to some. Sam the slammer lammers. He slams it goalwards. But Murray is equal to it. It is tempting. My real boy also has great gifting potential. Just any cow saying moo three times in a row. Oh, the slammer! As he slammed the door on this game. Oh, a cheeky roly poly as well. Yeah, uh, another good shout there for Mike's real boy. So yeah, maybe th there are quite a few of us that have got great gifting possibilities. Oh no, Harry Maguire has scored a goal. Might be time to put the weasels in the bin. Then again, James Ward-Prowse set piece extraordinaire. <laughs> Jeffrey Weir, 6.4. Best player in the world. The only attacker, not on a 7, and he's not even close. Can Losios reinsert themselves into title contention? K 
Can Sirs keep dreams of making the split? Oh, I guess they'll they'll always have the dream, right? Oh shit, they could climb above me if they win. Adam, win. I need Nikki to not win it so that I stay in 10th. Shit. Adam! Who won between the ducks and the dogs? I assume the dogs. Can someone dig up that result for me? Oh, Pogba! With a re free kick response of his own. Love that. Dogs won. Right. Great. Let's not have the dogs be in the 29 point duel. I'm fine with Whammer losing tomorrow and joining the 29 point party because I've got a win against them as well. So that'll do wonders for me. Beat them, beat the menace, and I'm in. We don't want Nikki to win though, because Nikki did beat me, and they'd be above me. So fuck that shit. Fuck that. Uh, okay, the dogs could win tomorrow, not today. Let's have Manchester keep the title race exciting. Come on, the lads. The sequel to Come on, Eileen. Hackers, oh, COVID, oh my god, these passes are just not quite to the right person. Sabbathson must be offside. No, because eleventh is on twenty five points, right? Yeah, minus one. Lucky Radebi scored. BBC have played. They drew, I want to say. BBC Drew, right? Hackers? Kingsley! Oh, straight to Couture. Kareem Benzema and Dushan Tadic 
Are they the team that are going to force Manchester to relinquish their lead in the league? Grealish! Oh! Sancho, long ball forward, nothing doing. Here come the dogs again. Oh! Dear, oh dear. Their first shot on target as well, mate. Hackers from the corner. Oh, Catois. Very good. Very good goalkeeper. Is old Thibaut. Goretzka. Oh, dear. Oh, we're going to miss the split. That's so upsetting. The worst bit is, I think we'd finish with more points if we made the top half than if we made the bottom half. Oh, no! Hackers! Hackers! The Manchester penalty curse continues. Oh, Goretzka! Powers Manchester back into it. Oh, Hackers wins it. Kingsley Company's got people in support. Cross Sun. Oh, no, Sun. What are you doing? Uh-oh, Lil Lorenzo. It's been released. Who's he got in support? Brozovic. No, Brozovic has injured himself. Oh, he pulled up injured. Benzema with an absolute guilt-edged opportunity to put the game to bed. And he's fucked it. Oh dear, oh dear, Benzema. Everyone's going to be questioning how the dogs aren't winning from that. It'd have been a shitty way to win. <laughs> Capitalising on the Brozovic injury. But... And the points are shared. Another draw on the day. Barcelona lead the league. One point separating the top three. It's exciting times. The Ducks go into tomorrow with a slight advantage. Weasels are out. Someone's been sacked. Oh, Petkovic. He can still make the split. Holy shit. Can he? I like BBC and... Why has he been sacked? <laughs> they could still make it. Wild. Well, now I hope Nil will do make the split. <laughs> oh, Claude's going to get sacked if we don't make the split.
Much love. Be good. And I will see you on the flip side. Toodaloo.